Hey guys, it's Shy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make stickers out of drawings that you've made. Um, this is really fun and it's an easy activity. All you'll need is some drawings. You can either print them or you can draw them yourself. Um, you'll need some scissors to cut out the drawings or the pictures that you have printed. Then you will need parchment paper or wax paper. Um, either works, it's just something that you can easily peel tape off of. And then next you'll need clear packing tape. I prefer clear just because it makes the images come out a lot more brighter and there's no fog to it. Um, and without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to cut out the drawing or the picture. I was between these two, but I ended up going with the purple one. Um, these were actually drawings that I did while at school. They were just mindless doodles that I actually really liked. Um, so I wanted to make them stickers so I can put them on my water bottle or on my computer for school because um, I think it's really good to express yourself through art. Um, so I'm just cutting out this image with a little bit of a outline of the white paper. I'm using mixed media paper because I honestly think that it's better quality paper to use while making stickers because it's easier to uh, put the tape down onto it and then pick it back up if you did the wrong placement or if there's like bubbles in it. Um, it's just easier and the paper is less likely to rip honestly. Now I'm just going around and I'm just smoothing out any of the harsher edges that I did. So if there's like a point or something, since I wanted this to be a very sleek and curvature design to give it more of a friendly feel to it. And now that I've completed that, I'm going to move on with the next step. So I'm going to set down the scissors and move things aside. Um, the next step is to take your clear packing tape um, or normal tape and to just put a block of it, a thin one layer of the tape onto the wax paper or parchment paper. Um, and you're going to make it the size of your drawing or cutout because it's going to act as the sticky adhesive that you'll use for your sticker. So once you have the parchment paper or wax paper lined with the tape, you're going to take your image and put it, set it on however you like, and then you're going to cover it with the tape once more, um, making sure that there are no air bubbles or um, lines in it, making sure everything's smooth and pressed down. You want to get really into those edges and make sure that there's no bubbling that can happen when you have thicker paper, like what I'm using with the mixed media paper, just because it is thicker, so the tape isn't going to be completely smooth as if you're using printer paper or uh, drawing paper. So you can take your nail or a quarter or something and just outline the entire edge to make sure that everything's pressed down nice and neat and there's no bubbles. Um, and you don't want to peel it off right away because there's another step where you cut out the design making sure to leave a little bit of a seam allowance. Um, because this will make sure that the two layers of tape, the one on the bottom and the one on the top, almost act as like bread to your drawing sandwich. So you're going to need them to meet on the edges so that they can solidify and stick to each other. So you can make sure that uh, no water gets in because if any water gets in then it will damage your drawing and that's not good.
So after I've cut out my drawing, I'm just gonna go around like I did with the original and just smooth out all the edges because I want this to have a very uh, curved look to it. It makes it very elegant and very calming to look at. Thank you. 